So just quickly, here we go. We've got the uh, thermal, uh, which we picked up from a local hardware store. 14, 14 quid for seven and a half meters. And we're gonna use that and bond it to our sleeping bag uh, and finish it just to make the thermal curtains uh, to save ourselves a fortune. I'll show you how to do that. Um, but first, we're just gonna use some of the surplus that we've got to tuck in the uh, roof liner of the vehicle. Okay, so at the back of the vehicle now, I've just removed the top rear piece of trim fascia that holds the interior rear light. I've done that so I can just loosen off these clips so I can just pull the headliner down a little bit just to see A, if we can get some uh, insulation up there and also where I can best position the uh, skylight. Okay, and there you have it. So we've just basically tucked the uh, thermal insulation in the back in the headliner there. Between each um, section, we did the front section by the hole that we made for the skylight. So that's all the way into the front. That should give us a nice bit of insulation there. So for the shape of the uh, thermal blinds in the back, all we've done is press the foil up against the window and it does stay there uh, pretty much and used a Sharpie pen just to run a line all the way around and then pull that off. We've got a guide to we'll trim that and that will give us a guide for both sides. So you've only got to do that three or four times and then we've got the whole set and we'll use that and we'll bond it onto the sleeping bag and then we'll do the cuts from there. So all the side windows have been cut out of the uh, aluminium foil insulation and that's what's left. Uh, they're the off cuts and I don't see any reason why I shouldn't just shove them in the, uh, the headliner. Just a bit more, can't do any harm, so that's where they're going. Okay, so we have done all the side panels in the uh, thermal aluminium and we're ready to do the sleeping bag. Now this is the bag we bought. It's, um, it's a branded one, it's a Van Gogh and um, it was 20 quid, so it was half price from a local outlet. So we're just using that as a template and what we're going to do is we're using some uh, Evo stick carpet adhesive. We're going to spray it on this piece here and just lay it on top, try and get it to bond. Uh, should be fine, but we'll do a test and see how it goes. So after bonding the aluminium foil on the sleeping bag, we've now trimmed it. And you can see this is the filling that I was talking about. We don't want this all falling out and going everywhere, which it will. So we're actually going to use a stapler just to staple all the way along here. If you've got the means to do so, you could uh, sew um, a trim edge along there, which would look nice, uh, we might do that. But for now, just to make sure it all stays in one place, we're gonna use a stapler just to make sure that we don't lose anything. And then we're gonna give it a, a go and see if we can fit it and uh, see how it works. It, it's difficult to know uh, how much of a difference it's gonna make, but in theory, we've made a difference. Um, and we've got privacy, which is important, and it's just whether or not that would be enough uh, to keep you know, the cold out, which, um, is the whole point, but um, it's pretty good, really. Considering the price, I mean, the whole vehicle, if it actually bought the lined material itself, um, it's £20 a metre, and I would have needed about f just over four metres to do the whole car. That's 80 quid, uh, whereas it's cost me 34 so it's half the price, plus, oh, plus the... So it's about half, half the price it's cost me with the, with the glue. So um, quite pleased with that.